Once there was a writer who happened to specialize in crafting thought-provoking essays on various subjects. Through hard work and seemingly endless creativity, she managed to publish numerous pieces that captivated her readers. However, one day, she found herself in a creative slump, unable to find any inspiration for her next writing endeavor. She contemplated different topics, but none seemed to resonate. She scoured her bookshelves and searched the internet, but to no avail. A sense of panic crept in, as she feared she had exhausted her ideas or fallen victim to writer's block. Yet, after taking a deep breath, she made the conscious choice to let it go for a while and divert her attention to other pursuits. Strangely enough, while strolling through a serene forest without any intention of conjuring up a subject or even thinking about her writing aspirations, an idea unexpectedly came to mind. And thus, she came to realize that when she ceased trying so hard, what she was looking for arose effortlessly. The writer experienced a curious paradox. She wanted to be productive, but the more she tried, the less she could. Only when she ceased caring and lifted the enormous pressure of needing to be productive off of her shoulders was she able to write again. So striving and effort do not always get what we want. Moreover, these things can work against us. What's going on here? Author Aldous Huxley first described the law of reverse effect, saying that, and I quote, The harder we try with a conscious will to do something, the less we shall succeed. End quote. So, could it really be that when we stop consciously trying to succeed, we increase our chances of success? Will results come once we stop caring? This video explores the law of reverse effect also known as the law of reverse effort.